Today is not my birthday, but we are celebrating my birthday today because my birthday falls on a Tuesday. Um, and I'll, I'll also be taking the day off uh, from the vlog. I'll make music, but I won't be doing uh, this. So, um, just FYI. Um, Caroline got me some gold keycaps for my keyboard and a um, dry erase board, which you're probably asking yourself, Gardner, you have a dry erase board. Why do you need two dry erase boards? And my response to you would be, mind your own damn business. So today's Sunday. Today's Sunday, March the 19th, 2017. Welcome to Garden Sound 365. My name is Gardner. This is the show where we write music every day for a year. We're continuing our quest to find a new genre. For me to create my own style, basically, is what we're working on here. Um, and we've had two attempts, two, good, two solid attempts. Um, and the first, I think, was stronger. I had some people reach out to me yesterday to express how much they enjoyed yesterday's song, so thank you for doing that, especially Curtis. Thank you for your kind words. Today, I, I had another idea. Um, it kind of came to me in a, in a, just out of the blue. I already do kind of have a style, right? I do a little bit of a chill wave, dubstep, you know what I'm saying, type of thing where it's where it's really relaxing, just kind of bass heavy, good kicks, good punch, um, and I need to combine that with funk, almost like a ballad. But that's not uncommon. In fact, Bootsy Collins, um, one of his most favorite songs, "I'd Rather Be With You," is a very slow funk jam. So. That's what I'm gonna try to do today. I do these, um, I, I, I do these, these build-ups that often come out to just one single note, and that goes back to my uh, philosophy of bare minimalism. And and in minimalism, you know, like Philip Glass or John Adams, um, they typically alternate between notes, or they have a pattern, right, that they use to to progress their melody. Um, mine's different. Mine's even more stripped back than that, oftentimes I will bring my melody down to just a single held note, um, which is a little bit more along the lines of soundscape and ambient. So I'm going to try to fuse all these things together today. Got my work cut out for me. I'm just going to jump into it. And the idea that I've had in my head for a while, like maybe I'd say 20-ish, 24 hours, came to me last night. I want the line, the melody line to go ba, 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 and just stay there and get side chained by the kick so it's ba, I don't know if you guys have noticed this but I've been layering several kicks and several snares um, together lately instead of just doing one of each um, that's something that uh, George taught me And I want to get one of my water drop samples in here. This is my water drop sample. I'll be giving away this sample pack um, for free to everyone who's who is uh, supporting me on Patreon. I'm gonna call this kicks and snares. Okay. So let's get that line in there that I'm talking about. That. I think it's just a straight up like massive saw wave. So I'm gonna put massive in here. Okay, it's gonna need some chorus on it. That's the noise. Now I'm gonna need my hover pad that I produced for the uh, 
the um, oh the Starboy song. What what number song was that? I have to go look it up right now. So you're gonna see on the screen capture me uh, looking this up. It's a, the, I'm really glad I numbered my songs because I would never be able to figure out where it came from if I didn't number them. 159. Okay. So I don't know if y'all know that you can do this, but you can open up an old Ableton project inside of Ableton. Um, for instance, 159 is right here, and I can open the set, and then these are all my different tracks, and I can just drag the hover pad from that track into Ableton. So for this massive track, that's going to be the same thing. Um, this one's going to be my lead. So we've got the lead, we've got the hover. There's one more thing I'm hearing in my head, and that's this bit, the, one of my big subs. Um, so I'm going to have, oops. So I'm going to have one of my big subs down here. That's also going to be massive. Um, let's see here, plugins. There we go. Um, this is going to be the bouncy sub. Okay. All right, so it's a little bit different. So my, uh, what I'm hearing in my head is a little bit different. So in my head, I'm hearing the side chain hit every, um, every single uh, eighth note, uh, you know, all four. So I'm gonna have to have a side chain channel um, with a specific, I'm gonna use my, the kick I'm used to using for this, um, which is my 808 thud. I love this kick for a side chain, it's really awesome. Um, so what we'll do instead, let's see here. That's pretty good. So that's what I'm hearing. So I'm gonna expand on this a little bit um, on my own, and then uh, I wanna I wanna make sure you guys hear this, you know. So I'm not gonna have too long of an episode. Um, so I'm gonna add some funky bass onto it. If this does turn out to be something new, I don't want to give away the process. Then anybody could imitate it. Does that make sense? So. What I'm gonna do is uh, cut it here so y'all can see. What I wanted to show you today was how I go from idea here to in the computer. And it's basically, I just slowly recreate what I'm hearing, right? I'm gonna cut the episode now. If you wanna hear this full song, click right here. If you'd like to see yesterday's episode, click here. If you'd like to subscribe to me, click here. And if you wanna support me on Patreon, click here. Remember, today, um, I'm gonna start a tradition of every once in a while giving away um, sample packs to my Patreon supporters. Andrew Huang does this for his Patreon supporters. Um, so yeah, sample packs for the Patreon supporters. See y'all tomorrow.